Hello everybody, welcome to day 8 of the 12 Days of Christmas movie reviews. I'm Wild Man Wes. You probably noticed something <clears throat> a little different right now. You're probably wondering, Wes, where's your Santa hat? Well, this movie isn't really about Christmas. And Wes, how come you're wearing a hockey sweater? Well, it's not a Boston Bruins one like Happy Gilmore, but today we are going to be talking about a Hanukkah film for a change. That's right, folks. We're going to be talking about Adam Sandler's 2002 animated film, Eight Crazy Nights. This film is about a young man named Davy Stone, who's pretty much the town drunk, the village idiot, call him what you will, wreaking havoc all over town, destroying property, getting drunk and just disorderly, stealing things, and eventually he collides with the ice sculptures of the town square regarding Christmas and Hanukkah, and he goes to court for the last time, and right when you think he's gonna go to jail, he gets saved by an old man named Whitey Duvall. Pretty much the town go-getter and, you know, the jack-of-all-trades trying to be, like, the spirit of the town. And so while he's under Whitey's wing, Whitey is going to try to help him, you know, stay away from jail by being a, an assistant referee for the, the community center's uh, kids' basketball teams. Well, during this time, he's being a little bit of a jerk anyways, and the town's still kind of giving him grief. And he runs into a young woman named Jennifer, who you find out was one of his girlfriends from when they were young teenagers. And she has a young son named Benjamin that Davy somewhat befriends while they're playing basketball in the community center while he's being babysat by Whitey. And during this uh, little game that he's playing with Benjamin against a couple other guys that are being just complete jerks, uh, they lose the match, but, I mean, well, the, the, the jerks lose the match, and you find out that they set Davy Stone's trailer on fire. So then, at this situation, Davy has to stay with Whitey and Whitey's sister, Eleanor, who is probably just as kooky as he is in this one. They're, they're very, they're shut-ins. They don't really do a whole lot. And pretty much he has to follow all their rules. I mean, they lived in a very strict house, so everything they do is... Whitey Duvall would say is a technical foul. And as he stays there for a while, they become close, and eventually Whitey tells Eleanor why Davy becomes the way he is. You find out that one time when he was, or actually when he was a kid, he is playing a basketball game for a championship, and his parents don't show up. And unfortunately, they die in a tragic car accident, and that is pretty much what sets Davy off to being the jerk he is today. Davy's pissed off about the fact that Whitey told the story, and he tells Whitey that, you know, everybody thinks he's a loser, there's this patch that goes around every year for the person of the year in town, and he won't get it because he's a loser. Well, Davy tries to get drunk, runs off, he has a drunken hallucination in the mall where all the mall mascots of Foot Locker, Victoria's Secret, Panda Express, and Toy Biz, yeah, a lot of, like, think about Toy Biz, folks, doesn't exist anymore around here. Just to let you know. Maybe it does somewhere, but if it, if it does, leave a request, I mean, a comment in the, you know, section below. Let me know if any do exist, because I'd like to find them. But they tell him that he needs to cry. He needs to let out all this anger that's been going on for over 20 years. And... He finally does, the cops try to arrest him, he gets away, and it goes to the big Christmas Hanukkah party where they're going to announce the winner of the patch, Whitey doesn't win it again, he's leaving, Davey in an attempt of desperation to get the town to realize Whitey has more impact on the town than they think, and eventually everybody comes to an agreement that, yeah, without Whitey Duvall, the town would be in complete just dilapidation. So, when Whitey wants to go see the mall for the last time because it's one of his little things that he does to, you know, center himself and get de-stressed, Davy comes by and says, you know what, you're not a loser, you're the best. And everybody that won the patch in the 35 years that it was around give Whitey their patches and pretty much Davy and Jennifer get together, everybody lives happily ever after. So that's the movie in a nutshell. Um, I like a lot about this. I mean, there, there's a lot of humor. I mean, it's also, there's a lot of musical numbers. I mean, most people that are around my age probably remember that, 
in the early 90s, Adam Sandler, pre or roughly around the same time of Saturday Night Live. He also had some uh, solo CDs where he did musical numbers and uh, in comedy skits. He did a lot of things with David Spade, Conan O'Brien, a lot of people, and, and even um, Rob Schneider. I mean, they've been in a lot of movies together, and Rob Schneider's actually the narrator in this movie. Probably one of his best you know, performances ever, but we'll leave it at that. Um, other than that, I mean, the chemistry between the voice acting. I mean, I'm a big fan of animated films, especially ones that aren't necessarily G or PG. I mean, this is rated PG-13, and, you know, there's a lot of, you know, there's a lot of toilet humor in this. Speaking of which, at one point, Davy shoves uh, Whitey into a porta potty and it flies down the hill, and he's covered in crap, and some reindeer have to clean him off. Speaking of that, the reindeer show up a lot in this film, helping Whitey whenever something goes wrong, whether it's pushing a car or helping Davy be hidden from the cops in the shape of a pyramid. That was pretty classic. What I don't like about it is Adam Sandler, you know, he's funny to a degree. I mean, in the early 90s, he was at the peak of his career. He really was, even into the late 90s. I mean, you had movies like Billy Madison. You had movies like Happy Gilmore. You had Airheads. You had Big Daddy. Mr. Deeds was, you know, it was pretty decent. Then when it got into this, this became kind of the downfall, where Adam Sandler was using a lot of the same comedic, you know, pinpoints, or just like the, it's typecasting, really. I mean, it was just, it was Adam Sandler playing himself, I mean, pretty much. I mean, this was, this was kind of Happy Gilmore playing Davy Stone. I will say that Adam Sandler has had a bit of a, a performance renaissance lately. I mean, there have been some things that he's been doing lately that have actually been pretty good. I mean, there have been some things that have been not so good. I mean, Pixels, not so bad. I mean, it has its good moments. It's got a nostalgic quality for all of us that, you know, might have been little kids in the 80s or even teenagers in the 80s that loved arcade games. But even though if it had some bad moments, it's better than Jack and Jill, right? I mean, I think we can all agree on that. For the, Some people might like it. You know what? That's your guilty pleasure. I'm not going to knock you for it because I don't think you're going to knock me for, you know, some of the movies I like. So, leaving that alone, it's time to grade this film. Now, like I said, I enjoy this movie. I mean, honestly, I, I could watch this movie over and over and over again because a lot of the songs that are in this movie are, are pretty pretty entertaining. I mean, for I mean, and that's what makes Adam Sandler, you know, apart from being just a regular performance actor or comedic actor, he's also a musical actor. So, he can make a lot of awesome lyrics. I mean, we all know the Hanukkah song. We, there's three there's three different versions and you know what? They're all great. Uh, it's just pretty much Adam Sandler playing Adam Sandler playing Billy Madison playing you know, it just it just seems like all of his characters are kind of just this the stereotype character and that's where it kind of bugs me a little bit so for this one I'm going to have to give it a grading of a B plus because I do enjoy it it's just you know you can only handle the same stereotypical or you know stereo yeah typecast the typecast I mean I mean <laughs> that's that's the only thing that really bugged me and really made it rough for me so that's why I'm giving it a slightly lower grade than I would normally but other than that uh, we hope you enjoyed this. Make sure that you like, share, and as always, push the red button, ring that bell for some instant notifications, and if there's anything you'd like to see in the future on this channel, make sure you leave a request in that comment section below. Also during this time, as I've said many, 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 many times before, a lot of small channels are, you know, not doing so well right now because of, you know, a lot of situations going on with YouTube. And they may not be around after 2020. So be sure in this season, the gift of giving, make sure you check them out, give them some support, hit their red button too, hit ring their bells, you know, because that's what community is all about. Bringing it together. Do what Whitey Duvall would do. Help everybody out. On that note, I'm Wildman Wes. And we will see you next time on day nine of the 12 Days of Christmas movie reviews. I'm going to be like Davy Stone right now, but I'll try not to get in too much trouble. See ya.